getting your hand raised for the first time in, in over four years. What did that feel like? It felt good, man. Um, it felt good to win again after the two losses that I sustained. You know, fighting Casey Kenny, he's a guy from my hometown, Tucson, Arizona, that, which I hold very close to my heart. I've been in California, San Diego, California for over 11 years now, and I love it. But um, Tucson is my home. That's where my whole family's at. That's where I grew up. I call myself Tucson made, Tucson built, San Diego made. Casey Kenny's from there, and so he was on a three-fight win streak. I wanted to fight somebody who was coming up the rankings heavy, excuse me, extremely durable. He's a southpaw, so it's, it's an awkward, uh, it's a lefty, which prepares me for the lefties in the division and using the weapons that I need to against them. And uh, it was just a good fight to get back on my feet again because of the tools that he brings, the durability that he brings. He felt, I felt his good hips. He's got good wrestling hips. He's got a black belt in judo. So he knows what he's doing. He's, he's no chump. And uh, it was a really good, tough tough, well-earned fight for me. Mm. And did it, uh, it sounds like it did, but did it accomplish everything you wanted it to in this fight? Because, uh, you know, a lot of people were surprised you took this fight in, uh, when you did. So did, did you get yeah, well, you know, everything you wanted out of it? I did. I got what I wanted because I needed to test myself. Everybody wants to say that guys aren't ranked and this and that, but it's like, look, man, I know what this game is. I've faced guys that weren't ranked and in just six months, they win two, three fights in a certain fashion, and they're fighting for a title. I've said that a million times, so it's really important that we give all these guys a shot. And, you know, Casey Kenny, he's got a big heart, and I needed to test myself against a guy with a big heart, strong body, durable, young, up-and-coming, hungry, win streak, confident. He had all those things, and I needed to test myself against a guy like that. Talk specifically about the third round. What was going through your mind? What adjustments did you feel like needed to be made? And what did you feel out of him in the third round? In the third round, I could feel him wanting to press forward and keep going, but that the offense wasn't quite there push, while pushing forward. So I knew that I felt his pressure, but I didn't feel the offensive pressure. I just felt the forward pressure, if that makes sense. So I needed to use his pressure against him a little bit and uh, land the shots while he moved forward your heart drop at all when they they read one of the first score definitely cards was my him? heart dropped when they read that it was for him but my coach is really good Eric Del Fiero and he, he he always keeps it real with me and he said that the second round I probably lost to him he threw he's he landed a little bit more strikes than me I kind of took a second off here and there and I gave I ended up giving him that round unfortunately I'm a little disappointed in myself for that but you know I'm used to a five round fight so um, I'll be honest, I'm used to giving a round here and there and then really pushing the pace at the end like I did in the third and getting these rounds back later in the fight. But three-round fight, it's really important that, that you push a sprint for three rounds and never let off the gas. What do you want to do now? Do you want to build momentum on this and try to get back in quickly? Do you want to take your time? I mean, how, how, what, do you, what are you standing here right now? What is your next move? I need to talk to my coach. You know, it was a split decision win. I need to go back and see, see the fight, see the mistakes that I made, see the things that I did well. I've had an amazing ride and career in this thing, and I've loved every second, and this was fun. So I just want to go back and, you know, look at what I did and, and see where I go from here. It's, it's a fun sport. I got a commentating job. I give so much back to this sport. I give so much back to the fighters. I, re I feel really grateful to be in that position, and I, and I just want to get back to doing that as well and just keep, keep living the dream, right? Yeah. Yeah, it seems interesting to me because on one hand you're saying that I want to test myself against an unranked guy, and he's a southpaw, and there's some southpaws ranked ahead of me. So that to me suggests long-term goals. It suggests title runs. But then at the same time, you're, you know, you're, you're saying statements like this has been an incredible journey, like something that a fighter might say if you know, he's almost considering walking, walking away. So can, can you kind of almost clarify where at in your career Man, why you? can't you have both, buddy? Why can't you be grateful with where you're at and what you've done and where you've been and still have long-term goals after you watch the fight? I also said that. We appreciate it, man. Appreciate watching you, uh, watching you fight and then taking the time to speak with us afterwards. Thank you, sir. Congrats, Don. Thank you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.